Alright guys, so today I'm going to explain the use of a barometer. And basically what this is, is this is a pressure gauge. When you see a storm, 90% of the time there's going to be high winds. With it. Actually, pretty much all the time. There's going to be high winds associated with a storm. And the worse the storm is, the higher the winds are going to be. Hurricanes, for instance, have crazy winds and therefore the worse the storm. Wind causes a lot of damage. And what wind associates with is pressure. Faster moving air has a lower pressure than still air. Therefore, you know, on a pretty sunny day, there's no wind, the leaves are staying on the trees, you're not getting blown all over the road, the pressure is going to be higher. So on a barometer, your pressure would be all the way over here. Um, or even higher. Um, and when a storm comes, the barometer is going to drop. The pressure is going to decrease because the wind is increasing. And it's going to decrease the pressure all around that area. That's, this is one reason that mariners use this device to see how bad a storm really is. You can see a storm on radar all the time. But, you know, a guy that really watches his barometer will in, in most storms, he'll log how much his barometer actually dropped, and he'll start to compare that. And one day he's going to notice that his barometer drops well below what those storms in the past have done, and he'll know that he's got something really bad coming his way, something with crazy winds. So therefore, when the pressure drops, things get bad. Typical rainstorm or thunderstorm, it might only drop to about right here. But when things get really bad and you see it drop right over here, you should probably get away from whatever's coming your way. Barometers are the most reliable weather device there is. You can rely, you can get struck by lightning. Your, your home or your boat can get struck by lightning and you have no way to watch the weather. But the barometer, it's always going to be there.